Hello, good day, grade 6. Welcome to our e-learning for today and for this week, March 29 to April 2, 2020. And for uh, this week, we're going to discuss about writing. And the writing that we're going to focus on will be problem solution essay. So our topic for today will be how to write a problem solution essay. So what are the things that you're going to do for this week? I want you to finish watching this video patiently. So please be patient enough to finish this video. I explained every detail here. And then you're going to answer uh, the attached file in your class dojo. And an option will be sending this back with an answer to my email, johnsentordil.americanacademy at gmail.com. And for tomorrow, remember, it's not today. It's tomorrow, Monday, from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., you will be doing the Socrative assignment of so or Socrative task. And the room name will be AAS Grade 6. All right? So let's start the lesson. So what is problem solution essay? So problem solution essay, as, as in the title, you are going to uh, give a main problem and you're going to write and describe two or three or four solutions. So there are two things that you're going to, to need. First, you're going to describe one problem, one problem only, not two, not three, one problem. And then you're going to explain um, solutions one or more solutions that go, that's going to solve the problem, okay? So, for example, if you're going to write about um, the topic COVID-19, spreading of COVID-19, that's one problem. And then if you're going to write two or three solutions to stop the spread of the disease, that is, uh, that's an example of, uh, of, of solutions. So, what are the things that you can write about? So, what problems are you going to write about? You can write about problems, real-life problems. Community problems, such as maybe traffic, climate change, waste management, school issues, family issues, something like that. All right? So remember, this is in the, the overview. A problem solution is, essay is that you're going to describe a problem that you're interested to write about, and you're going to explain one or more solutions that can solve the problem. Okay? So that's it. Now next, let's discuss the format. So what are the... The, the parts or the format of a problem solution essay. So here you can see um, the three major parts. The first one is what we call the introduction or the first paragraph. So in this first paragraph, you're going to write about um, describing the problem. So for example, that your, top, your topic is stopping the spread of the disease COVID-19. So here you're going to describe the problem. What is the problem? So the problem is that we are in a global pandemic right now and we are in quarantine and we are in total lockdown. So the problem is that we need to stop spreading the disease. So that's it. You're going to explain, you're going to describe what is the main problem, uh, what, is, uh, what is happening in this, in this problem, something like that. All right? Next, number two. The second part of the format is the body which is also known as the second paragraph. So in the second paragraph, you're going to give your um, solutions. So you're going to say, I have two or more solutions. So here you're going to explain uh, your solutions by adding details, facts, and examples. Remember, you need to research. You need to use your Google browser. You need to uh, find solutions in the internet, or you can ask your parents or siblings how, uh, what are the solutions to this main problem that you're going to pick? Or what are you going to select? All right. So remember, one or more solutions. For me, one is not enough. I want you to write at least three solutions, two or three solutions. All right? And finally, uh, the third part of the format is the conclusion or what we call the third paragraph. So here, you're going to summarize your ideas by wrapping up your ideas. All right? So I'll be giving you sample later of this format all right so these are the three parts to summarize introduction or first paragraph so where you write about the problem second the body or second paragraph where you're going to describe and explain your solutions um, one or more solutions and finally it's this is the shortest part the conclusion or the third paragraph where you're going to wrap up your ideas or summarize your ideas now what are the things that you're going to ask um, to solve or to write the problem solution essay. Here are the questions. First, ideas. 
Did I include facts, examples, and details? Okay, so please, when you're writing a problem solution essay, you need to include facts. It should not be a gossip. It should not be a rumor. It should be a fact. Give examples based on your personal experience. And give details based on your research from Google or any browser. Remember to include facts, examples, and details. Next, organization. Did I explain the problem first and then solutions? So you need to follow the format itself. So the format says you're going to write problem first. Second is the solutions. And third, the conclusion. So if you're going to write the solution first and then the problem, that is not the correct format. It will be wrong. So remember to follow the correct organization or format of the problem solution essay. Third, fluency. Did you or did I use transition words? So here you need to write transition words. So for example, in the body, in the second paragraph, when you are explaining, if you're describing your two or more solutions, you need to say first, if this is your first solution, second, if this is your second solution, third, if this is the third solution, and you say finally, if this is your last solution. Remember that. So you need to write transition words. Finally, conventions. Make sure that you're using the correct grammar and also spelling and punctuation. So remember these four things, ideas, organization, fluency, and conventions. Now, I'm going to give you an example of a problem solution essay based on page 517 of your journey's uh, big book. So I want you to pause this video and open up page 517 and you can start reading. You can pause this video, read by uh, on your own, or you can read after me, all right? So as you can see in the, in, the, in the picture right now, there are three major parts. So that's the first paragraph, that's the second paragraph, and that is the third paragraph. As you can see, the third paragraph is the shortest part, and the biggest part is the second paragraph because you're going to describe and explain your solutions. All right, let's move on. Here. The title of the of the essay is Making Maplewood uh, Bicycle Friendly by Warren Brown. So Maplewood is a community. So here in the first paragraph, you will see the problem, okay? So again, what do you see in the first paragraph? I think you know it. It's the, uh, it's the problem. You're going to explain and describe the problem. So let's read. Maplewood is a great community to live in, but it has a problem. It's not bicycle friendly. So it's, that's the problem right now. So the author is explaining, describing us that the problem in this community right now is it's not bicycle friendly. Now, he added more details. What are the, de what are the, other, the other details? Bicycling is dangerous here. When my friends and I ride our bikes to school, we have to travel on busy streets with no bike lanes. To get downtown, we have to cross major, um, three major intersections. Once we get there, we have nowhere to leave our bikes. So he explained in the first paragraph the problem. So again, the problem is bikes, bicycling is dangerous here. The community is not bicycle friendly. So as you can see here, he described based on his personal experience with details and facts and example, the problem uh, that the community is not bicycle friendly. So that's the first paragraph where he wrote and discussed and described about the problem. Now in the second paragraph, what do you think did he did he write here? You can pause the video and then answer. Alright? I think you're correct. In the second paragraph, you're going to write one or more solutions. So let's count his uh, solutions based from his answer. Here you can see first, second, third, and finally. So one, two, three, four. So he wrote four solutions. So those are his recommendations for. So again, remember, he wrote also transition words. First, my second solution, third, and finally. So he wrote transition words. Remember that. Now let's read. I have several solutions that would make our town fr friendly to cyclists. First, the city would add bike lanes to major streets. Studies show that both cy cyclists and car drivers are more comfortable when streets, streets have bike lanes. As you can see here, he wrote the first solution and he explained it so he he researched uh, a background to, to, so that to to support his uh, idea to support his uh, the, his solutions here he researched from the internet maybe so again studies show that both cyclists and car drivers are not are more comfortable when streets have bike lanes so he supported that idea okay remember 
to get details, facts, and examples to support your solution. Okay? So again, solution and words that will support, a sentence that will support it. Let's read um, uh, my second solution. So my second solution is to put up bike signs at these intersections. The signs would remind people to share the road. So again, he wrote here the solution, the second solution, and he explained with details. The signs would remind people to share the road. So he explained it using this sentence. Third, the city could put announcements on radio and TV. So that's his third solution. And the next sentence will be supporting the solution. This would remind cyclists and drivers to be careful and safe. So as you can see, a sentence here giving the solution. And the next sentence is the one that will support this one. Remember that. Solution and a supporting answer, a supporting sentence. Finally, the city could install bike racks downtown. The racks would give uh, cyclists a place to park their bikes. As you can see here, he said, once we get there, we have nowhere to leave our bikes. And he wrote final solution here. So the city could install bike racks downtown. A recommendation, the racks would give cyclists a place to park their bikes. So as you can see, everything here. So remember that. So he wrote up to uh, four solutions and finally let's go to the third paragraph the third paragraph um, he this is the conclusion I think you know that in the conclusion you're going to wrap up your ideas summarize your ideas into two sentences only here he wrote Maplewood is a great town that I love living in so just make a statement with a few improvements it could become a great town for bicycling too so here you can write in your essay with a few improvements or you can write with a few uh, solutions it could become a great town for bicycling too. So you can copy the, the format he wrote here. So that's the idea that I'm going that you're going to write. All right. Now let's go to the discussion of your uh, activity for today, and I want you to finish this activity for today. Uh, this will be required. All right, Re required at home. I want you to do this at home. All right. For today, this is our lesson. I want you to download this from, from the class dojo, and this is a draft only. I will be giving you more activities like this in writing in Class Dojo next Wednesday. So as you can see, your activity for today will be this one. I want you to answer this. So choose one from the following topics. So you can write about traffic, climate change, illegal hunting, illegal logging. Logging means illegal cutting down of trees and spreading of diseases like the one that we talk about today, the COVID-19. So you write your title here. You write your problem in the first paragraph. The, the solutions here in the second paragraph and in the third paragraph here will be the third paragraph here will be your uh, conclusion so select one topic after you're done with it again do it once more but a different topic so if you selected traffic in the first one and then climate change in the second one again you follow the activities so send this uh, to me until uh, Thursday this week in my email um, johnsentordil.americanacademy at gmail.com this will be a requirement because this is writing and remember our Socrative task for, to, uh, for tomorrow will be from 9am to 9pm so I hope you understand all the lessons for today I hope you're going to answer this activity also please do it and I think that's the end of our lesson for today how to write a problem solution essay please if you have any queries or um recommendations or suggestions please uh, message me in class dojo or to my email that's it for today this is mr johnson signing off thank you and goodbye